hi everyone today i'm going to show you how to make a lenticular image uh, which is a 2d image appears to be like a 3d image and it appears to be moving so we will be trying to make one of those and you have seen these kind of uh, things uh, if you have any scale which when you turn it seems to be the picture is moving on it so we are going to use the same principle and going to be making the program of it and making our thing move so let's start so to start with i'm going to make a follow first to make my grid which is the most important thing in the whole of this process so to start with I'm going to say that let i is equals to zero because it starts from zero and then i is less than thousand times it will repeat and i is having a spacing of six in between and then I'm going to use my line function in there so in the line function I'm going to say that I line is starting from i at the x position and and y position is zero and then it's again is starting from the another i position so it's to repeat it in the x position we have to make it the i in i uh, give the i variables in the x positions and then the height so it is sent from zero to the whole height of it and then we need to give it a stroke and a stroke weight stroke is black color and a stroke weight of let's see three we are giving in there and let's run and see yes we have a grid of black lines so after my making these black lines I'm going to write these as black lines black grid in fact and after this I'm going to comment this whole of these things because I need to show you something uh, which I'm going to make and it cannot be seen properly if this grid is over there so I'm going to comment this code and when I run it you can see nothing now so let's move it down now I am going to select our picture so let's make a global variable of picture or pick and use the function preload to call to upload that picture first so for doing that we need the same pick variable and say that pick is equals to load image function and in the load image function the image whatever image we are going to select we are going to put the name of that image inside that okay in the draw function what we need to do we need to say that the image function will take the parameter of pick variable and it should start from 0 and 0 since we don't know that how big is the picture we just wanted to place the picture from 0 0 position okay now let's save it till here and edit and tidy our code so we can see properly everything okay now we can go to the sketch.js and from sketch.js files go to upload file and then we will open this box and then we will browse for the picture we need so i need i have a picture of butterflies uh, which i have selected from google you can also select that from there so i'm going to select that so after doing that 
you can select any other thing once you know how to do that you go up there and you re rename it if the name is too big because it's difficult for you to remember and write it down so now there are chances of mistake also in there so let's write butterflies dot png and after doing that let's close this and run this now you can see the picture is appearing we are good with it but the picture is too big so we have to decrease the size of it so let's say it's 350 and 350 and now the picture is appearing and we are good with that but the position of the picture is not uh, very convenient for us so let's say it's uh, at the position of uh, 50 and uh, 10 at first a bit 55 and 20 let's see it's gone a bit out so 55 is not 50 and 20 is good I think yeah so after doing that what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give a tint to it the tint will change the color of the picture to the kind of color I like so what I wanted the color to be turned black or dark color so with the tint you can do that so if I write for example a red color to it it will turn to should turn to a red color you can see the my butterflies are turned into red but and in the same way to other colors as well so if i say uh, 175 should have something not much is done in there but you can change the color with that as well but i want my butterflies to turn black at this moment this once so all these are turned as i've wanted to black so now the next bit of thing which i needed to do is i want to make a grid over these so for making a grid over these i'm going to copy the one grid which i've made before the black grid and i'm going to be using the same grid not the same grid we have we are going to change the variables of it so it will not be the same grid it will be the different kind of a grid but most of its uh, properties are the same so we are not going to change much okay now this grid needs to be a little bit uh, it is starting from zero the black grid so we want it to be between the grid lines black grid lines so let's shift is starting point to two for example so i'm going to shift this and let's see what will happen if i do that so i have a grid of lines they are of black color but i want not the black color i need to change the color also to 255 which is the white color so the grid will appear over these black so now this grid let's say i open this code and see that this grid is appearing in between or not or let's make it into a red grid so we are sure that we are doing the right thing so i'm uncommenting the code which i have made for the black grid to see whether my two grids are appearing in between or not so you can see that there is a black grid, uh, line and then there is a red line there is some spacing and then it's appearing so i think this is good enough so i'm going to comment it again the black grid and I can continue my thing by 
making the lines over that and I'm also going to change this red color to white again because I don't need a red color in that okay now this is there now the next thing we I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image with this tint and I'm going to make another image and this image will appear between this white grid and this black grid so between the code of these two I'm going to make this image and this image I'm going to be giving a 255 tint the white color will make it retain its original picture color so that will appear in that one and what I'm going to do next is I want my picture x-axis to be a little bit a little bit less let's make the y-axis of this one a little bit like 10 adjust it and let's see how it will appear first so now you can see the butterflies with proper color is appearing and the black grid ones are under them you can see that as well so now it's there and it's appearing as well seems to be fine so let's open our black grid now and see how it will appear when we open that now you can see the orange butterflies or monarch butterflies are there and we can see a little bit of the shadow of the black butterflies under as well but we cannot see it very perfectly up till now we cannot see the butterflies changing from 2d to 3d so to make it into a little bit 3d so let's add the mouse x to the black grid minus mouse x to both sides after doing that let's save and tidy our code that's better and after doing that we have everything you can see now I'm going to run my code and I'm going to make my mouse move as I make my mouse move you can see the butterfly seems to be moving at least but I think I need to uh, fix the butterfly under because the butterfly under needs to be a little bit uh, X and Y which needs to be fixed let's say is 55 and 25 let's do that and see how they will appear now why I'm increasing so the more the black shadow will appear as you can see the starting one doesn't seem to be appearing the black butterflies are not appearing under these so when I move my mouse across then let's see how it will appear as you can see the same butterfly seems to be like coming out of this picture now or fluttering their wings when they are not actually they are static and the image behind them is appearing as if that they are fluttering it's making it into a shadow kind of a thing under them to see this properly we can do one thing that I can change this to plus mouse X that will make the grid appear and disappear also so when I move it you can see it's appearing like this and then you can see they're not moving at all but when I make the grid come back you can see them moving you can see them 3d and everything so this is the way you can make it move and if you want it to move, be moving continuously you can just minus it from the video profile so let's run it again see this is how you can make your thing appear to be moving 
your butterflies appear to be fluttering when they are not the other thing we can do is we can rotate the image so for that we have to use the push and the pop with that we can use the translate and the rotate functions also with that you can do it as well a little bit rotation so with the translate because in 2d you cannot use the rotate without a translate so we will put the translate up here and 50 and 10 will go inside this place and this will become 0 and 0 and we need to rotate our picture but we don't need an angle variable in that we just need to rotate uh, uh, quarter quarter pi divided by 2 let's see how it rotates because the whole picture will rotate a bit now you see let it rotate too much we don't want that too much so just by so we need Now the butterfly seems to be like they are flying and have some space under them which actually they are not flying and they don't have a space under but you can make this appear like that so if you increase a bit more see what will happen is a bit more so now you can see that it gives the more effect of it that more of the butterfly seems to be higher up and seems to be flying more more 3d effect is coming so you can do all these things with it and if you move it back you can see a 2d picture as well so this is how you can do make a 2d picture appear to be a 3d picture in a very nice way without it also you have the picture appear to be very nicely placed mm -hmm. and doesn't need any other thing the more you try the more you will get better in this so this is how we do make the 2d picture appear like a 3d picture and this is how the lenticular scales or the animated or the holographic scales work so hope you like it and enjoy you will enjoy making it as well so thank you and bye